Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're doing another episode of checking out one of your guys' solar systems. So we've got one system to check out today from Mad V from my Discord so I don't think I have a link to your channel so just let yourself be known in the comments so I can obviously go ahead and do that. But before we start today guys I just want to say a massive massive thank you because we hit 4,800 subscribers the other day so yeah we're already at 4820 sat we are 180 subscribers away from the big 5000 so yeah we're getting close out so let's see if we can try and get it before the end of the month like that's our little goal let's see if we can try and do that that'd be absolutely amazing so a massive thanks to everyone who subscribed recently and everyone who continues watching the videos every day absolutely crazy how far it's gone guys like that is absolutely crazy and also i don't know if you can tell but i've got a bit of a cold i've i've really been sneezing and stuff all day so i really hope um i really hope you guys can't hear it too much but yeah i've got a bit of a cold right now <laughs> but yeah and also i want to say a massive thanks to mr Missalot yesterday because he if you didn't see yesterday's video and you want to know how to mod universe sandbox i definitely recommend you i definitely recommend you go ahead and check that out because um he taught you the basics so yeah i asked him um or he said um, i might make a video for modern i was like do you want to have it on my channel so more people see it so yeah that's what we um did there so yeah massive thanks to him and a good job to him as well for making them um, back so i think he did a good job with that video but anyways yeah let's um actually get started with today's video so yeah mad v so today we've got a system called narex system so we're gonna go ahead and search this up so nar and it is this system here so let's go ahead and look up oh i'm looking here so here we are oh what's that big red line oh my god this thing's enormous look at this okay so damn okay is that was it even more? Where does this? Okay, that's just a line going into nowhere. Okay, all right. So let's go here first. So here is the star Kerequin. Well, here it is here. So it's very very similar to the sun. It's even got its own planets as well. So there's loads of stuff to check out here. This is cool. So yeah, Kerequin. Yeah, I'm really sorry my voice today, guys, and my pronunciation is always. But yeah, anyways, let's continue. So um. Here we've got Naix, so this is a Mercury-like object, we'll go on a um, realistic mode as well, so there it is there. It's a Mercury-like world, quite big though, it's bigger than the Earth actually, so yeah, very very hot, just rocky, not really much um, to see here. Okay, next up we've got Yinas, okay, 500 degrees with water, how do you manage that? I'm guessing if we click play, it's probably going to break this, but this was the way it was intended for us to see. So, yeah, here it is here. It's quite large as well. Look at that, 18,000. That's Planet 9 sort of size. Like, we compare it to um, the regular ugly Planet 9 here. You can see it's pretty big, and also compared to Neptune. Still quite big for a rocky planet. So, yeah, there it is there. So, there is Yinus. I do want to click play and see what happens with that, though. Okay, next up we've got um, Stratia. Going with a modded red atmosphere, it looks like. And look at that, looking good. Very nice. Actually, it may not be modded, though, because I know you can get red as a normal colour, but I believe... I think that may be modded. And then it's got um, Uster here. So there it is there. So a little thing. little little um, moon there. Okay. And this guy's also at 400 degrees. Okay. 12 ATM. So this guy's going to be pretty hot. Yeah, the life light could and stuff is probably going to go down. Yeah, I definitely will see what happens if you click play in this um, simulation, because I reckon a lot of um, trouble could happen. Okay, um, next up we've got um, New New Cree. No, no, cry. Um, how do you say that? Also with water. How are you getting water in all these guys? So there it is. It's glowing and it has water on it. I don't know how you done that. Very interesting. So yeah, foul of 10,000 kilometers. Sorry. Then it's um, got this moon here. So little asteroid moons. I'm guessing they're all little asteroids. Yep. Yeah, okay. Okay. So next object we've got here is Sempis. Sempis? I think that's how you say that. I almost want to say the Tempest, that Shakespeare play. But yeah, Sempis. So there it is there, with a um, interesting brownish orange. That I'm sh I think that's a um, atmosphere you can actually get with random spawns, which is quite cool. So yeah, there it is there. So this guy's at 23 degrees. Let's check the stats on here. This one, 93 similarity, 67 on likelihood. Okay, so there it is there. It's got a bit of a magnetic field. We can't really see it though. It's got a tiny little magnetic field. It looks like there. So there is that. Okay, so there is that planet. Okay, so next up we've got always oh, a one for yellow trail. That's definitely modded. Uh, next up we've got Dynax here. Oh, purple, blue, and yellow. Interesting color theme here. But four degrees Celsius. So this would be like a Mars-like object, is what I'm getting from this. With like blue sand, pink mountains, and then yellow snow. I don't know, something like that. So yeah, that's um, that. Though interesting color choice. Definitely like it. So there's a 95 on Earth similarity. Pretty cool. Okay, so let's move on now. So next up we've got this yellow one. So this is 
knit through here. So it's a yellow gas giant. Oh, look at that. Looks so good. Let's compare it to my one. Let's see how similar it is to my one. Oh, whoops, a daisy. Wrong thing. So there we go. So here's my gas giant yellow. So there it is there. So they're very, very similar indeed. But I believe they are slightly different. Yeah, they are different. But yeah, literally exactly the same shade, which is awesome. But yeah, so there it is there. So yeah, there is Nitru. 28,000. So that's bigger than Uranus and Neptune. And um, here is its moon here. I'm not even going to attempt pronouncing that. <laughs> I can't do that one. So yeah, minus 270 degrees. So very, very cold here. So there it is there. But yeah, I really like the yellow trail on that. Um, next up, we've got 66 Quirus. Oh, it's glowing. Look at this. Oh, look at that. That's cool. Oh, that is cool. So it's one of those, like, really reflective objects. Oh, that is... That looks good. 19,000. So very big as well. Very big for a rocky planet. So 66 Quirus here. This is a cool object. Look at that. I really like the blue on that. That looks really, really nice. Very, very good job, Mad V, with that. Okay, next up, we've got... Um, Okay, it's just this one here, 98244. So it's just a little um, asteroid here. Okay, cool. So let's uh, move on. So that's the, all of the objects on that star. So next up, we are heading to this area here. So this is called the Nitroi Fragment. So I'm guessing this was from a nova, possibly. Or, an, of course, it was a fragment from a collision, maybe called nova in the past. So there it is there. So it's big, quite a big star. 90,000 luminosity of sun, okay. So here's the first planet here, so Nairi. So here it is. It's a very Venus-like object, definitely a Venus-like. It's got, even got the colours like Venus, it seems. That's a cool... I like that. Yeah, it literally is Venus. It's a custom-like made Venus. That really reminds me of Venus. That looks really cool. Look at that. I like that. That's, that's really nice. That's really cool. Yeah, very, very nice job of that. That is very cool. Okay. So where are we heading next? Next up, we got QR98. Oh, an orange gas giant. Oh, look at that. That's a nice shade of orange. Oh, look at that. Very, very nice. My, yeah, compared to my orange, that's a lot more of a proper dark orange, I'd say, compared to my own. If I can find it. I'm, I think it's different. So this is this is my, like, brownish orange there. And then the, where's the orange gas giant? I have an orange gas giant. Where's it gone? I may have deleted it by accident. Um, Where is it? I may have deleted my own orange gas giant. Is it anywhere? This is where my... I still have it in the simulation, but... Yeah, that's a cool shade of orange. Definitely different to what I have saved here anyway, but... Yeah, very, very nice orange indeed. That is a nice... Very, very nice looking object. Very, very cool. Very small as well. Look at that. It's pretty much the size of Earth. And then there's also got a moon here. 55 degrees. So there it is there. So... Tiny little moons. So, tiny gas giant, tiny moon. Well, it's not really a gas giant, is it? But, yeah. So, there it is. Okay, next up, we got this object here. Cineri. Oh, no, this is based off... Um, well, this is very similar. It probably, it probably is the same object. If I look at my Wasp-12b, this is very similar to that. Because I actually did have a planet looking like this at one point. Yeah, they are. Look at that. So, some very interesting um, objects yeah, my, I like the Wasp 12 um, B custom. Yeah, that's a cool one. I, I had an object like this at one point. I don't know if I still... I should still have it. Maybe I can have a quick peek in here. I definitely had... I'm sure I definitely had one at one point. If I look in through all my old custom objects, I'll probably find it. Because, yeah, if you didn't know, I deleted a lot of my custom objects just so I could see them all easier. Because, yeah, I've removed all of the Subscribers Universe stuff now. So that's all of my stuff. Um, pretty much here, and obviously the stuff you guys are giving me. So yeah, thanks for that. But yeah, there it is. So that's a yeah. I had an object like this. That is a very very cool object. May not be exactly the same, but yeah, that is. I definitely had something similar to that. So yeah, so this looks like one of like Phobos. There, one of Mars's moons. So there's that. Then this one here. I I really can't pronounce these ones. I'm sorry. But a really cool view of the gas giant from here. Yeah, and this guy is a pretty big planet as well. And then over here, we've got another little um, sphere object. So there it is. Okay. So where are we going next? Oh, okay. It's got some more moons. So it's actually got a blue moon over it. Look at this. With an atmosphere as well. It's quite cold, though. So that'd be like a Europa with an atmosphere is what I'm getting from that. This one here is actually an Earth, it looked like. So there it is there. Yeah, this probably was Earth at one point. I can tell by the trail color and because of the climate mode on it. So, yeah, that is this object here. Let's check the stats on it. Composition. 97 on the similarity and 80 on likelihood. Pretty cool. Okay. 
Next up, we've got Tinara here. And this is a Titan object, okay? With a custom texture below, it looks like. So there it is there. So yeah, we've seen like a custom Venus look and a custom Titan look there. Very, very cool. And then lastly, we've got... I know we've got this one as well. Arrow Cute. So there it is there. Yeah, good look of it here. So there we go. And then we've got Naira, or Nira here. So it's a frozen ice world. And it also looks like it was an Earth at one point with the trail colour. Okay, so there it is. Okay, next up we've got this planet here. Oh, it's a green one. I want to see what that is. Net any clot. So here it is. Very large as well. Reminds me of my big rock planet a bit. Because it is pretty big. Actually, let's see. Is it? Oh, no, no. It's... Okay, it's not 190. It's just 19,000. Okay. Yeah, if we're going to compare it to good old big rock. And yeah, that's big rock. Big rock's enormous. But yeah, 1.27 surface temperature. Okay. All made of iron as well. Look at that. Interesting. Okay. So there's that. So that's a massive chunk of iron, that object. Okay. Next up, we've got Paraku here with an int very interesting red and black theme. Look at that. Oh, that's a nice, nice mix of colors there. Wow. Well, I really like the dark red on the high elevation there. Look at that. That's cool. I, I like that. Like another like desert-like volcanic sort of world there. It's like a mix between Mars and Io, I'd say that is. There, okay. Oh, next up we've got the green one. Oh, look at the atmosphere. Oh, look at that. That is so cool. Looks like one of my Pascal objects almost, but it's got green on it. Very, very cool though. Oh, that's a nice object. Green atmospheres are always some of the coolest out of them all there. And then we've got um, TF912 here. So there's that. Very, very cool indeed. Right, so where are we heading next? Okay, so we've finished that part now. Okay, so now we're over here. And there's also a little object here. What's this? Little, like, comet. That's what that long trail is that goes into the middle of nowhere. So that's like a passing comet, almost. Okay, and then next up, we've got a little red dwarf, it looks like. Or maybe a brown dwarf, I don't know. Because I know sometimes people do make brown dwarfs with a very, like, at this sort of temperature. But yeah, there it is there. So here it is. Oh my god, look at the look at the bright why is this burning up? How bright is this thing? Okay, how come this is burning? I think he's must have put it up to that sort of temperature there. Okay, so there's that. Oh now we've got another object here. Very close to the star, obviously, because it's a small star. Like if we look at the star, it's not that big. It's only five hundred thousand there. Okay, so here is a Canora here. So a dark green object there. Let's get a better look at it. So here it is. Going for brown sort of colour as well. That's a nice mix of colours. Okay, we've also... Oh my god, so many. Um, the next object is this one here. I'll just look at them in this menu because it's going to be quite annoying to zoom in some more. This looks like it was a Mars at one point with the atmosphere there. Actually, no, it wasn't. No, because the trail's wrong. But um, yeah, that looks very similar to a Mars-like object with a green surface. Okay. Next up, we've got our new here. So that's a like, regular sort of looking object there. 66 Camus. Ooh, look at that. I'll get a zoom in on this. This one looks cool. Another like volcanic looking object. Oh, look at that. That's cool. I like that. Got some green on it as well. Very interesting color choice there. Okay. Very, very small little object as well. So we've already done our new. Now we've got Aeus. So it's just a little rock. Um, where are we going next? I can't even see where it is. Um, here it is. So Acetasa. So this may have been an Earth at one point. Yeah, it was, because it's got climate mode. Um, then we got this one, R and some... I'm sorry, I can't say that one, but yeah, we got this one here. Going for... Ooh, interesting colours on that as well. Look at that. Okay. And now we got Dornax. So we're going for Gas Giant. Okay, so the first Gas Giant around this. So there it is, 30,000. Quite an interesting colour. It's actually perfect. Look, it starts like with a creamy yellow. It goes white, brown white and then creamy yellow again okay cool look at that if that was a random spawn that's not bad so yeah there's that and then last up we've got oh this is modded yui no oh, no i've seen i've seen this before somewhere yeah i've seen this this is a cool object but i'm sure i've seen something like that before definitely something similar anyway but yeah there it is there so a really cool looking green object there very very nice indeed so yeah there we go Almost a hundred thousand radius. Okay, cool. So yeah, that is everything for this system, guys. It seems. Yeah, I don't think there's anything. Yeah, there's nothing further out and all of that. So yeah, that is it for this system. So yeah, the Narnax, the Narnax triple system here. That is it for this system. So yeah, massive, massive thanks for Mad V for sending this system in. Yeah, let me know which um, planet do you think is the best out of us. Because there's a really nice. Um, 
big range of lists. And also, Mad V, the creator of this, let me know down below so I can add you in the like the links um, in the description. Yeah, but there, that is everything. Yeah, but here's the list of all the objects. I've got to say, like, this one takes the cake for me. That That is cool. I really like the glow on it. That that's definitely my favorite out of all these yeah really really cool but yeah let me know guys which object do you think is the best out of all of these yeah and i'll see um if you guys have got a system to send in then yeah send them to me on my discord um because that's where everyone can check them out and that's also where i go for um looking for systems when i make videos but yeah that is everything so if you enjoyed today's video make sure you hit that like button subscribe for new helps on the journey to 5,000 subscribers let's also see if we can go for Let's go with 40 likes. Let's see if we can do that. And yeah, that is everything. So make sure you guys all have a great day. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.